I've been saying for some time now that I've felt that AliExpress watches are getting better and better. But as I've been saying that, I've been sort of being more considering watches like from San Martin. Watches that are known to be good, watches that tend to be a little bit more expensive. I wasn't really thinking about or considering the slightly cheaper watches on AliExpress. Watches like Pagani Design. In fact, I haven't owned a Pagani Design for a while, so I just kind of assumed Pagani Design watches would be the same sort of quality as they were when I last owned one. But apparently, I'm wrong. Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches, and I'm talking about a Pagani Design watch. And it feels like it's been forever since I've owned a Pagani Design watch. It's probably been well and truly more than 12 months since I owned one. But prior to that, I'd owned about seven of them, and I really like them. And I really like them because I like the look of them, the quality for the price, the price itself, and just how fun they were to wear. But I didn't expect them to be getting better quality. And I probably didn't expect them to be getting better quality because the prices haven't really been climbing very much. Unlike some of the more expensive watches on AliExpress like San Martin, which definitely feel like they're getting better, they are also getting a little bit more expensive. But when I got hands on with this Pagani design, the PD1766, I was rather shocked at how good it was. And how good it was for 80 Australian dollars. Yes, I said 80, that's eight zero Australian dollars. That's not a huge amount of money for a watch. It's not a lot of money at all. It is a quartz watch, which is going to make it a little bit cheaper. I understand that. But still, that is so cheap and so cheap, especially considering how good this watch is. Now, you probably saw that sponsored icon pop up before, and that's because I didn't pay for this watch, but I also didn't get it from Pagani Design or even one of their stores. I was given it by AliExpress themselves. I'm assuming they have a marketing department that sort of does a few bits and pieces to try and draw attention, draw people to the AliExpress platform. And this is one of the ways that I do that. And I'm more than happy to receive this watch and get you guys to check out AliExpress a bit more because there is something special about this watch and it might be worthwhile checking out. But of course, I am gonna leave an affiliate link down below because I was actually gonna buy this watch in the last sale, but I ended up buying a few watches and this one ended up not being purchased. So I'm gonna leave the affiliate link to the store that I was gonna buy this watch from. But for now, let's flip the camera around now and let's check out this latest Pagani design watch, a watch which I think is rather special. So as we go through this review of this Pagani design PD1766, I want you to keep in mind this price, 80 Australian dollars. And I want you to keep that in mind because this watch has really surprised me for that price. Because not only for that price, you're getting a cool watch, but you're also getting a watch that has 100 meters of water resistance. It's all stainless steel, sapphire crystal, AR coating, and it's also powered by a Seiko VK64 uh, quartz movement. Let's turn the watch around the right way. And that's the watch that I'm gonna be talking about today. And it only cost 80 Australian dollars. So AliExpress sent me this blue dial variant, which is probably not the one that I would have picked if I had bought it in sale like I was planning to. I probably would have picked this sort of more vintage style one with this sort of textured dial. But if you don't like that one as well, there's also a really cool green sunburst effect dial. You can also get these guys in with the bracelet like this one is, or with a leather strap as well. But I'm actually really glad they sent me this blue dial variant because I wouldn't have picked it, but it has absolutely stunned me how beautiful it is. But before we get into that dial in a little bit more detail, I want to show you the dimensions of this one because the case itself is 39.8 millimeters, the width of the watch is 12.9 millimeters, the lug to lug is 48.7 millimeters, lug width is 20 millimeters, and on this bracelet it is 149 grams. Now I really like blue dial watches and I have quite a few of them in my collection, and this blue dial is among the best that I've ever seen. And yes, I'm saying that even compared against much, much more expensive watches, this one at this price, it's gorgeous. Look at that blue sunburst effect, it's stunning. And I like how there's that black chapter ring on the outside that sort of sort of goes back and forth between black and blue, which then chains back to black around those subdials. And then looking in at those subdials a little bit closer, you will see that there is a circular pattern in those sort of subdials, which you can't see with the naked eye, but when you actually see that sort of outside or outside in the light or even inside, it sort of plays with the light a little bit differently. So you end up with this sunburst dial with a little bit of a different sort of look inside of those subdials. 
Okay, so you end up with that contrast between black and blue, and you end up with the contrast between that blue sunburst effect and those subdials, which really has an almost sort of shimmery effect to it, which is very cool. There's obviously some printing on the dial, including the minute track, second track, Pagani design, chronograph, 100 meters, Japan movement, but then everything else is applied, including that stainless steel Pagani design logo and all the indices. They are applied and also loom filled. The hands are all polished, the sub hands as well as the main hands there. I love that sort of vintage style arrow hand on the hour hand. I think that is very cool. And of course, there is going to be some loom on those hands as well. The loom on this watch, as you kind of expect with the gun designs, is not brilliant, but it's perfectly acceptable, especially when you consider this price point. Now, that very cool dial is covered by a single domed sapphire crystal with AR coating. And I think that suits it as well because this is a vintage sort of inspired watch with those hands with that crystal and it gives you some nice distortion and it really sort of adds to that blue effect as well. Surrounding that is a fixed bezel. It's brushed stainless steel with black on it with that tachometer and all the numbers. But then when we turn onto the side, we've got a nice polished set to it. So it sort of transitions from that sort of brushed to polished back down to brushed again on the tops of those lugs a very small brushed chamfered edge running, running along the top of those lugs and brushing on the sides. And for me, for a Bagani design, this is probably one of the better brushings that I've seen. This watch just continues to impress me as I go along. Pushes, obviously, crown that is screwed down with the Bagani design logo. This contains the Seiko VK64, so of course you're not going to need to wind it or move it around, but that battery lasts about three years apparently. To activate it, you hit the button on the top right, which has a nice action to it, which is, again, rather impressive. Stop and reset. Very nice. Sometimes these cheaper chronographs can feel a bit clunky or you don't really have a nice feeling. This is a nice solid feeling, but also not too solid. It just has a nice clunk, clunk feel to it, which is really good. The case back is fairly simple with the Pagani design logo and some information around it, which I'm perfectly happy with. The bracelet is two-toned, it's brushed in the center, polished on the outside, solid end links, which fit really nicely with zero movement. However, I don't think it probably sits into the case quite as well as I would hope, but it's not something that you really notice unless you really start to concentrate on it. What's surprising is the quality of the bracelet because Pagani Design, they sort of tend to use cheaper bracelets. I think it's one of the ways they keep the cost down. This is by far the best bracelet that I've experienced from Pagani Design. It also has a little bit of movement in it, which normally I would think, okay, well, that's a little bit of movement. But again, because this is a vintage inspired watch, having that slightly sort of bit of movement there is exactly what you'd expect of a vintage style watch. So it really matches in. So whether they've done that deliberately or not, it doesn't really matter. I think it just works really well with this watch. Now they've used split pins, which is probably not my favorite. I would prefer screw pins, but realistically, once it's set, it doesn't really matter. And it's got a butterfly clasp, which is probably not my favorite either, because there's also no half links. So you're either gonna find this one sits probably a little bit loose or a little bit tight. What I can say though, normally cheap butterfly clasps sit pretty poorly to be honest. This one, surprisingly good. As you can see, unclips nice and easily, and it also then clips down nice and easily too. So probably the best cheap butterfly clasp I've come across, because usually they're pretty bad when it comes to a cheap watch. This feels great. And as you can see, it comes with a huge amount of spare links. So my six and three quarter or around about 17 centimeter wrist, it sits easily and works really well, but you could have a much much larger wrist than mine, and you would absolutely fit this watch. So what do I like about this one? What don't I like about it? And what would I change? Well, let me start with something which I think is a huge standout feature and something that I love about it, and that is the dial. All the parts and components of the dial, that beautiful blue sunburst, the sort of back and forth between black and blue, how the subdials are set down into the dial, and just the overall quality of it. It is impressive. And it's impressive for the price. And that is the second thing that I like about it, the value for money. In fact, I don't think I've held a watch at this sort of price, this sort of low price, that is as good as this one. It's probably the best value watch I've ever experienced at this sort of lower price scale. I also like the size of it. I'm rather impressed by the bracelet for this sort of price again. And I'm going to say for this price, but realistically, I just like it no matter what the price of this watch. It's just extra impressive because of that price. Now, there's a couple of things that I probably don't love. You know, the butterfly clasp, 
I don't see the reasoning behind that. It means you're not going to get the perfect fit. Plus, I just don't think it kind of suits the watch. I probably also wouldn't, don't really like this sort of polished section here. I wouldn't have mind just maybe polished on the sides, but that probably wouldn't have been my first choice. And there are a couple of things that I probably would change about this one. I would either put a normal clasp, but to be honest, as good as this bracelet actually is, I think this would look fantastic on a brown leather strap. And that's exactly how I'm going to end up wearing this watch. And of course, I love mechanical watches a lot. So I'm always going to like a watch if it's mechanical over quartz. Nothing against quartz. They're perfectly fine. I've got nothing against them. I just particularly like mechanical. So I'd love to see it also as a mechanical. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. I really hope this one has actually now sort of come to your attention because it's very, very impressive. But if you like this one, I want to show you my absolute favorite Pagani design watch. If you want to see it, it's in this full review.